In today's video, we are going to go over the Milagro Point of Cell reporting and cloud functionality. We're going to drill down on sales report, device functionality, and etc. We will first start with the cloud and then we will jump onto the app and check the same information from the app. So let's get started. First of all, log into your cloud application. You should have a user ID and password. Once you log in, you'll automatically be redirected to your dashboard. Dashboard covers everything, your task management, vendors, uh, any support tickets, etc. But if you're interested in uh, smart pass, reporting, sales information, just go here to the smart pass. If you go to the dashboard and select your location, select your date frame and hit apply, it'll automatically load some information about that location in a summary. If you go to the account settings, this is where you control all of your account information. So for example, here, if you need email notifications for daily summaries, uh, if you need refund notifications, etc. If you need to modify your receipts and uh, add a survey, for example, or enable disabled tip, you would do that here. This is done on each individual location. And if you go to your devices, you'll have a summary of all of your devices that are connected along with all the IP information for each device, your credit card reader, kitchen printer readers, and receipt printers, etc. If you update the IP information here, by just hitting, clicking on the edit here, it will automatically update it on the app as well. You would just simply log out, log back in, and it would be updated. Uh, let's drill down on sales reports. So for example, I'm gonna select this location, hit apply. Now it's gonna show me a summary of all of my sales report. It's showing me a graphical report here, what my sales are per hour. If you select multiple days, it'll break it down on each daily sales. My payment methods, item sales shows you a summary your category modifier sales any optional sales and then it gives you a breakdown of your new customers versus returning customers if you want to see a more numbers uh, report you just go to the detail report it shows you the same information but this time just broken down on each individual uh, each widget is displaying the numbers individually so if you uh, go to your employee sales, it gives you a summary of sales per employee. If you go to your labor, it uh, keeps track of your sales versus your labor. This, is, uh, this number is generated from your uh, sales report versus the hourly rate of the employee since they're clocking in and out of the uh, app. Uh, any promo code that you uh, used or employees have used will show up here. If you click on it, it'll take you to a detail page. Any voids will be shown here. Your refunds will be displayed as well. And your cash or any opening and closing balance so you can see if you're short or if you're over on a, any specific day. So this is a quick summary of the sales report. If you go to the transaction side, uh, you'll be able to see all of the transactions that was completed. So in this case, if I click on the action, it'll show me the transaction, what was sold, how it was paid, the entire detail of that transaction is visible here. Uh, you'll see a status if it was paid, voided, refunded, etc. as well. And this is a quick summary of uh, the cloud. It's very easy to use and everything's already pre-built for you. You don't have to generate a report. You just select your location, your date and time, and it automatically generates all the report for you. Now, in order to check your sales report on a tablet, uh, you could log into the tablet and once you're logged in, you'll be able to view the same type of reporting and get a little bit more detail on each individual transactions. So you'll just go to the menu on the top left. You could see your end day report. If you click on that, you'll see all of your report information, your beginning cash, uh, ending cash. Uh, if you're short over how much cash you should have on hand. Here at the bottom, you see your total sales, how much is delivery sales, uh, a breakdown of cash, credit card, taxes, and tips, and etc. If you go to the menu again and go to your transaction details, let's go ahead and filter out by this day from 14th, uh, a full week. And at this stage, you can see all of your transactions. So anything that is green is paid. Anything that is yellow is... Uh, pending transactions and anything in red is a voided transaction. So if you tap on the transaction, you can see the detail of that transaction, how it was paid, uh, all the information about it. 
if you want to avoid a transaction you just simply click on it and, and void it or refund it here if you want to search by transactions you could uh, click on the search option here you could choose to search by check number customer name or the server name so for example if we type in um, 0060 will pull up anything that has that and by the way yeah as long as you enter any number it will search anything that contains that so I just search for seven so all of these transactions contain the number or the number seven on there so that's the transaction page if we go over to the sales report uh, this will break down all of your sales report so if we uh, go through here and let's search from the same week Here you can see your total sales and uh, if you scroll down you see your category sales, your item sales individually on the right side. You have your payment summary and uh, on the right side your delivery sales, loyalty, promos, uh, all of your tip pulls and uh, the entire detail of void and paid out transaction. So you'll be able to check your sales report here as well. Uh, again filter here on the top right if you want to also filter by an individual employee you could do that once you filter that it only shows the transaction detail for that employee only this was a quick summary on how to check your sales reports on the tablets or on the cloud thank you